Hello, welcome back. My name is Dr. George Machaki, and we're going to be starting week, uh, uh, let's see, i got to look at my notes. I've got uh, several other online classes. We'll be starting week uh, 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 six from uh, March, oh no, uh, sorry, week five. I'm one week ahead of myself. Week five uh, on segmentation, targeting, and positioning. All I'm going to have to say is this is probably going to be one of my shortest, uh, well, I'm not sure, maybe a little under 12, 15 minutes, how we're doing. Last week, I implemented or put into effect, I should have done it from the beginning, is the rubrics. The rubrics basically makes it fairness and, uh, and I'm equitable when I'm grading everyone uh, on here. I was giving you a, little, uh, uh, you, know, give you a little break, get you up to the speed. I know it's, uh, you've taken other online classes and some students say, hey, this is kind of intense. There's a lot of information, but you're learning a lot. Remember, you don't have a final exam, uh, so you're uh, doing well on this, okay? Uh, a little more writing. Some of the grades went down. That's fine. It's like anything else. Just pretend you're playing in sports. Since it's a sports marketing class, the coach, I mean not the coach, the referee has to be fair and consistent with what the policies are, no matter what. I don't care how good you are or how bad you are. If you uh, uh, scored and you fouled and you came in within the parameters, you're safe. Okay? So, the rubrics, get used to them. They're, the way I'll be grading going forward, uh, a majority of students are doing well. I know I got some students that once I started, a remember, some of them are doing on your um, discussion board. The discussions are excellent. You're giving me some substance. You're giving me some information. You're replying uh, very well to other students, and you're learning through the process. Okay. I've also included, I always want to make sure I remember you got my thing, I included uh, the we uh, weekly web links, remember, because you ought to provide some. Uh, you have these. Some of the students provided these links here from last semester, the bandits, lacrosse, excellent uh, uh, communication. Everyone learned off it. So when you provide me the links, try to do a quick summarization. So somebody says, oh, that's an interesting link. Let me go look at it. Okay, we've well done that. Uh, let's see, so you've got the links. And then you also have, remember when I got the weekly links? I, I did this one here uh, for Chapter 6. We're going to be doing as a, a segmentation. And I think there's two or three links that are in here that gives you some information. Look at the links. Remember, a lot of people, I don't want to look like, I just got to do the homework. You're going to go into sports marketing. Some of you are going to go into marketing. You have to be able to see what's out there. The reason the links are out there when I make you contrast one over the other, how are they marketing? Right now we're doing through the sport. But if you're taking, let's say you got a job and you didn't get into sports marketing, but you got some other uh, type of marketing. You know, like I showed you before when I showed you the, the ad, you know what I mean, uh, uh, for a, a new health club coming up in the Wakanda area in here. Uh, look at my lecture uh, when you do uh, uh, chapter six. They say, well, it's too much time, too much work. Class, you're being prepared. Some of you, most of you, or majority of you, will be going to a four-year university. You think my online class are hard? This is a piece of cake. It's a cakewalk. Trust me. I have students who come back, and, or I even have some students that are uh, in the four-year universities, and they say, this is at least challenging, but still easier than what I would be exposed to. Flipping on the other side, you're going to go into the business world. You're going to be a marketer, sports marketing, working. You know, maybe you'll get it with the Cubs or with the, uh, or, or whatever, the, uh, the major league someplace else. Those are hard to get in there. So how do you get your name out there before they'll even look at you? You got to do an internship. Some of the internships, a lot of those are free. That means you do it for nothing just to get the networking. Or you work for a, a, a smaller sports arena or the minor leagues. Or you work at the high school or something. But you come up with some idea. And now when you're going for that interview, your goal is up there. You're going to come up there and say, hey, I've done this. Or you've done an ad or something else that caught the attention and went viral. That's how you're going to get in there. Now, you're working for a smaller company. How are you going to get your foot into the door? You're going to say, hey, here I am, I'm George. I talk to them, I'm very personable. You don't send them any emails. You don't communicate them in the, uh, uh, to, uh, what do you call it, for lack of a better word, go meeting. Or you send them email, communication back and forth. That's what this section is about. When you do the emails and the forum and discussion, it's not that you just say, hey, here's a uh, link, look at it. You're trying to convince a client or someone that you're representing and trying to get 
them to put your ad in. You have to be interactive. You can't do it all at once. You're going to have multiple clients. Trust me, when you're going to go into management and marketing, you may have anywhere from 50 to 300 clients that you're responsible for. You can't all wait them all to Saturday to do your discussion. You have to do it there. And how do I get them? You have to be able to pick up on that verbal, uh, the written communication. That's what the emails are. When I make you write the assignments and the journals, what did you learn? You learned from your mistakes. You went up to the client that didn't work. The ad didn't work. So what do I do? Okay, I got to change something. And what worked for this customer may not work for that customer. You have to be able, and that's what you're coming up here. Yeah, one question. Are you a creative? You don't have to be artistic. When they talk about are you creative, what they're talking about is can you think out of the box and utilize the resources you have. So utilize this to learn. Now, your discussion board. Remember, it has the rubrics. It's easy. So they'll say, why did I only get, uh, I replied to three people and I only got five points. You know, out of uh, 10, I think, whatever it is in here. You know, and I go, yeah, what do you mean, five? You replied to three people. You gave me a fairly well-written reply to mine. But then when you talk to other students, that's where the thing goes. I sent a proposal to, the, to my client. He or she looks at the proposal. And now you have to start talking about what don't you understand. Oh, you got the proposal? Okay, bye. No. Hey, remember the proposal? Just in case you might have missed it uh, uh, because of your situation, blah, 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 this little area here. And they go, oh, man, I did overlook it. And now you're communicating. You just have to give them, here's the proposal, here's the link. You have to expand. So when you're doing the, the, the replies, you're trying to help, try to get that person to either see your point of view or assist that individual. Don't always look for something back. Remember, you're, uh, so you're doing well. I think some of the, uh, uh, if you notice, some of the individuals that dropped down in some of the discussions, we had like 20, we're down to 18. This week's a little weak, 15, because you got to follow the rubrics. You got to look at it. You don't see what anyone else does. Some students don't even have the book yet. Not all. I got a majority. Those of you doing the, uh, the normal, I know you've got it. The other ones, they because they're used to, to getting by without the book. This is a, you could buy the used book, I think, for 50 bucks, even cheaper on Amazon. Anything else, you could go to the library and say, I'd like to have this book. And there's some place in the system that may even have that book that you could rent out for a couple of weeks. Get Use it, uh, utilize, you know, I, 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 I'll leave those off. Those are going to be there. But I'm trying to, remember, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get them, you know, when a week, uh, uh, starting week five, you still have enough weeks. I think we have in this class is 12 weeks, if I'm mistaken. You have 12 weeks. You still could pick up your grade. Do the quizzes, do it. Some of the quizzes, you know, you got to read the book. You got to do this. You, uh, uh, you got my lectures. There's a lot of things you're doing. So anyway, you're doing well. The majority of you, I'm very impressed with your, uh, uh, your discussion board. Those who are in there, you're learning. You're beginning to see. This is a skill set. So when you actually get the job that you want, whether it's sports marketing or uh, oh, I'm not going to go into marketing, anything you have to have the verbal communication I'm doing now. This is a uh, platform. And then you also have to have for lack of a better word, the written skill sets. And that's what you're doing. You're writing. Yeah, full sentences. Yeah, we're so used to writing. I'm just as guilty as everyone else. You know, the Twitter, or if I do on the uh, server, I talk to it, maybe come back, a little jumbo, well, that's close enough. Remember, I'm talking to a client. I'm trying to write. I'm trying to improve my writing. And how do you improve your writing? You read other people. Oh, man, they really didn't understand that. Oh, I see how they did that. Well, I can't write that well. I never started off writing that well. Remember, uh, as I mentioned before, I, uh, uh, I came out of construction, and the hardest thing I had is to write correspondence to somebody else. I get better at that. The more you do, the better you do. So keep up the good work. And I think the discussions, uh, the, some of you helping each other. Some of you do read one post because you're at Saturdays, and I turn it off. Everything is driven in marketing, especially when you're dealing with customers in business. You missed that service date. You missed that due date. Did you promise that a customer? Pew! Okay? Done. All right? So, but anyway, so we're doing well on that. I think I've got a majority of my students, like a large majority of students are B's and A's, exactly where you want to be, because you put the effort. So when you get that A, you get that B, you say, hey, man, this is really good. I deserved it. Not that, oh, he just did that, or I just gave him something on that. Remember, that's not real life. That's not what you're going to do. That's not how you're going to be successful. Marketing, you have to be like yourself. I, 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 you know, I'm always hyper moving around, trying to do more things, but you learn to balance everything. Remember, I try to tell you, balance family, 
balance work. If you're doing it all at one day, your computer crashes or powers out, it's too much pressure. You'll never make it in the corporate world or even if you own business. You cannot wait to the last day. You do a little bit here, I got a little time here, do it here. You had the smartphone, I got my laptop. In between, I like to read the you know, news. Well, okay, I'll do my grading. Utilize your time effectively while you're at school. Put some time aside, not all in one day. Do a little here, a little here. We're open 24-7. Sometimes I'm responding to students and they come back to me. Say, hey, Dr. George, it's 3 in the morning. I can't sleep either. Okay? So you're doing well on that. The rubrics are in there. I've uh, I included, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, uh, the linkage. Remember when I've got the different linkages, the, the publisher has it. Uh, uh, but I basically put them inside uh, uh, the link here. Where, where did I go? Uh, 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 we, uh, you got my lectures. That gives you a good idea. Uh, weekly uh, 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 web links. Remember, I add these in. I added the ones in that the students uh, did from last time. I think it was excellent when you were doing a, co a comparison. Because that's what you have to do. When you look at the comparison, when I say, hey, look at this resource and look at this resource, you get ideas from some of the websites. You find out how to research. And then now I could say this, this, and I could come up with my new idea. Or say, hey, this kind of worked. And I put the tweak and I change it a little bit. Now, the other ones, when you're looking at different cultures, you have to contrast. So when you're talking to a client or you're trying to sell your product, your competitor there might have been there before you or coming after you. You have to understand what your competition is doing. No different than you would do, you know, and most of you like sports, that's why you're in here, you're either a spectator or a participant. But what you have to be able to do is to understand my competitor so I could see how I could overcome his or her messages so they buy my product or the product that I'm trying to sell for the client or the company I'm working for or my own business. Or you're trying to sell yourself. You have to be that person. You have to understand how they're thinking. You have to understand the different social and economic values. That's what this chapter is. How do I break off the group? And each group, I like to have one major message, but then I have to kind of fine tune it. That's what the discussion board does. That's what the journal does. What did you learn? I went to a client. It didn't work out well. Oh, it didn't work out. He just doesn't like me or whatever. Psh, what the heck is that? He didn't like me, so how do I turn around and get him to like me? Maybe I had sent the wrong message. Maybe I presented to him too harshly. Maybe I did something. What could I change? How do I I find out, well, my goodness, what's going on? Maybe I'll talk before going, you know, I don't really do too well. The gatekeeper, the person at the door, you know, or, or somebody else that already been with that client that's in, in your company says, you know, I'm trying to break into this client, not break in, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to uh, uh, get my foot into the door to talk to them, they won't do. Oh yeah, he's always real hard. But if you come at this and this day, here's his day off, he's more relaxed. You come on Monday, he has to do his report. You come on Friday, he's got to do his budgets and everything. I was a manager, I know, I understand it. Come into the week that he has his like like his free time sort of and that's how you find out to the gay peak or how you do the person's at the reception and then you know you treat her nice don't say wow well, he doesn't meet me anymore you come into her hey give her some candy give her something else or talk to her thank you for anything else be appreciative remember so you have to have both the the personal uh, aspiration, talking to an individual, and that could be either through the email. So how do you make it sound and focus in what he or she wants? Not by just one line. Yeah, that's a great thing. Look at page 23. Look at page 23 because it will pertain to your business. I know you're having trouble uh, expanding your market. I know this is happening, but we've done this something similar. I know your competitors are offering this. We've got this better offer. Plus, it doesn't cost you anything. You're saving such a uh, such amount of money please you know what I mean so you see how you're doing and you're learning this how to write not if you're not a good writer and that's fine because I was never a, I still don't think I'm a, the best writer you know I guess uh, English teachers they freak out they go, oh geez Dr. George you know, you've got this crap fine but I've been better because I read other people's writing I look how they respond I say oh man and you know you don't want to mirror write everything they do but you could see oh yeah I can see how they organized it. I see how they present it. And that's how I learn. Are we all good? You put the good stuff in the top and then you kind of fill it in and always have your closing uh, statement that uh, 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 sort of remember. So you're doing well. I think the majority of the class, like I mentioned before, I got B's and A's. Excellent. I got my D's. I got my F's. And some of the F's, you still, you could bring it around if you're still active. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem with that. Because, you know, you may not get the A, you may not get the B, but you get the C. The whole thing is don't look at the grade. That's currency. You look what you learn. What you've learning. Because you're learning if you understand it in your heart and you know how to write. You know how to 
to, to talk to other people, you know how to network, you know how to collaborate, you know how to research, trust me, you could get a C and so of those people, because during the learning phase, just like when I had to learn English, the second language for me, I wasn't that good. I still probably mispronounced some words and everything else. But what happened? You've gotten better. And then now you're more of a powerful force. You could communicate not only to your customers, to your peers, and people look at your verbal, commu uh, your written communication more than you think. If they don't see you, present, man, what an active person. I'm like, God, what a dud when he or she writes. Okay, so that's the exercise. Remember, I don't like to do stuff just to keep you busy. I want to do something that you and look at it. This thing, I'm taking this class. Look, if you're taking a class to uh, on cooking, and I just throw that off. You know, my, my son likes to cook. I can't cook well. I mean, I could, but I can uh, burn stuff or forget that I got the water on. So I, I may do that intentionally, <clears throat> so I don't have to cook. But if I had to take a class in cooking, and I was going to be uh, and going to be a chef in my own restaurant. I better know how to make that meal that most of the customers want. I got to know what to do. I got to know what to put in, what ingredients, what's going to like, what's not gonna lie. I got and then I also I adjusted a little bit so mine chili or my whatever I'm cooking is better than my competitors. They don't know what it is. Maybe it's a little spicier. And then maybe because I'm in an area that I got people who like more spicier uh, food. How do I find that out? True research. Yeah, or I'm in another area that they're more uh, uh, a vegan type of individuals. You know, and I have uh, you know, okay. So what do I do? So I I still could create that meal but in a different thing so it looks like a regular meal and taste to that niche and that's what you're going to do how are you going to find out to other people and that's what i'm trying to do with the discussion board how do i uh, uh, communicate to somebody else how do i help somebody else out without trying to get anything back and how do i learn overall very strong the same thing with your journal what did i learn at the end if it didn't work i said hey try this this maybe i'm going to try this next time that's your goals and objectives all right so that's it i'm not uh, I, I just want to say I, I enjoy i mean your discussion boards are good i come in there i chime in if you notice i read everyone i'm always seeing what's going on i try to let the the, the board go on that's what i'm trying to say you have to start your first post by wednesday and all the, uh, the the discussion boards for those of you who are waiting for someone else to come on you will not see nothing until you reply to my first post then everything else open and try to reply to other students and i think the majority of the, of the class i want to say 80 percent of this class you're doing excellent i'm very uh, i i and look i learned uh, a, a lot about you also i learned about different sports that i would have never even considered that's why i love this class you know we all have our sports that we know a lot about but other sports we, oh, geez, uh, who's uh, Who's the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the tennis, the, the biggest star in tennis? Hmm. I don't know. But how do you learn? You learn it through here, by looking at other sports and contrasting. So when you do the contrasting, when I do the homework assignments, I try to make it easy for you. Uh, remember, uh, the, uh, uh, you have everything there. You, you're doing perfect, okay? I don't know what else to say. That's why I don't have much to say. I, you guys are doing great. Keep it up. The rubrics are there going forward, and I'll see you uh, in the discussion board. Remember? I, I want you to start the discussion. If you could help somebody else, help him or her out. I think I want to do, um, I, I'm just starting up another class now in strategic management. It's an online class. I thought of before. They changed the book. So I'm trying to uh, get that one up and running. Okay, so from the beginning, and once I get them going, then I want to do at least one uh, virtual classroom. So what I'll do is I think someplace uh, I'll do uh, uh, just a separate form and say, hey, what's a good time? And I'll give you some dates, and then you could just select, say, so I could get the majority of the students, and then we'll try to do this uh, 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 live. So it brings people in that uh, you may never, you know, you hear me, but I don't get any communication back. It's like a goal meeting. L let's try that out, all right? So I'll try to do that, not this week, but I I'll make myself a note. I got to write myself a note, all right? Uh, uh, do, uh, what should I write? Come on, I'm writing myself a note. I'm still using the old-fashioned. You can type it in and everything else. Uh, uh, do a, 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 a real mini, you know, two or three uh, points. I'll give you points uh, 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 for them, um, for uh, actual... Uh, water cooler. Let's do it that way. This way, just no pressure on homework or anything else. It's just things you want to do. And I, I may do that next week. Uh, uh, I'll put that in. And uh, here's the days I'm looking at. Because I'm looking at the time in my own calendar i got to fit in. Because I teach face-to-face -face class. i got my own uh, uh, 
a consulting business I have to kind of work with. So I'm looking at next week, you know, because we got the spring break coming up uh, in, in two weeks. So I'm looking maybe, um, uh, I don't I have something open on Monday, Wednesday. Maybe on a, on a, da, 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 uh, uh, maybe on a Thursday, uh, either Thursday or uh, Tuesday. I'm looking something in the evening. All right, something maybe from about 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. So if you're doing this and you looked at uh, this in the discussion board, say 7, and then maybe I'll do like a virtual, uh, a real virtual office, give you five points, you, the webcams, you could meet other uh, students that you just see the uh, silhouette, and you could do some discussion for some points. All right, and I'll try to record that open, uh, 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 that one, you know, because I do the recording on that. Uh, and the reason I'll, I'll record it for those that can't make it, you know, I mean, so you lose a few points. But if you tell me that Dr. George didn't come, I made the re recording if it's like three or four extra points or five points because it's going to be live uh, water cooler if you can make it with the web camera and everything else uh, I may give you two if you look at the recording remember I know when you're active I know when you come in that's the one thing about technology all right so I'm done with now let me see how many minutes I have ah, I'm at 20 minutes no matter what and I didn't talk about anything welcome to my world I love you guys and uh, guys and girls Keep up the good discussions, and I'll see you in the discussion board in, uh, what do you call it, in week um, uh, uh, five that we're coming up. All right? Uh, bye. And keep on hanging in there and do a good job. You know, help each other. I'm always watching. I try to pull off more and have you do the discussion, and that's how you learn how to uh, get people to talk to you and how you talk to other people. Some of you have made a lot of friends in this class already, uh, and I, uh, probably more than you would in a face-to-face -face class because you're more open. Bye.